Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called Everything, Everything. Well, this is based on the book by Nicola Yoon, and so they decided to make a film out of this. Well, let me tell you the story. The story is about Maddie Whittaker. Well, she's sick, and she has not been out of the house for over 15 years. She uh, basically lived her life with, you know, with books, her mom, and her nurse named Carla. And uh, now when the film begins, she's 18 years old. And, you know, she's uh, got all the things to prevent her from getting sick, air refresheners, and all that good stuff. Now, her mom is a doctor. Her mom is named Dr. Pauline. But her mom really loves her and tries to care for her. But Maddie did not really get sick until her father and brother died in a car crash years ago. Anyway. Now, Ollie Bright, uh, he moved next door to her. He moved from... Uh, Boston, way of New York, and things like that. And, you know, he moved next door to her because his father could not keep a job. His father's abusive. And, you know, and Ali and his father, they have a lot of problems between each other. So he um, sees Maddie in the window as they're moving in. And so they start to communicate through texts, emails. And the phone. Well, that's how a lot of young people do it today. And so, you know, Ali tells her, well, look, why don't you live life anyway? And so that's part of the story. Now, let me tell you, this is directed by Stella Maggie. And this stars Amanda Steinbridge. You've seen her in Hunger Games. Nick Robinson. And Nikki Nona Rose and Anna De La Rigoria. Well, let's talk about the positive of this film. The positive, at least uh, the two couples, well, the one couple, Amanda La and Nick, they look good together and they act well together. And that's all I can say that's good about this film. The other thing is this uh, about this film. There's too many questions inside the story that was not answered or too many questions that you wanted to be answered as a film goer. And the, <laughs> this is very predictable. For example, uh, and Amanda and Nick, you know, uh, they are too cute as teenagers or as young people. They don't even do any fart jokes. Come on, they don't even joke around and try to have fun like that. The plot is the weakness of this film, and a lot of it didn't even make a lot of logical sense. And I don't want to give a thing away, but you've seen this story before. You know you have. Should I tell you about it? Well, go see for yourself. Because of that, though, I'm only giving this film out of four palm trees, out of four stars, one and a half palms. Now, is this a film that, would teenagers enjoy this film? I don't know. If I was a teenager, I wouldn't enjoy this film. <laughs> Not at all. Everything, everything, it tries, but it fails. And I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com.